The market is a kind of home to me. It is where I feel that I can uh, thrive and help others thrive. I can identify opportunities to share the privilege I have had in my life and also learn from others as to their diverse experiences and backgrounds and what they bring to make Toronto a global city that it is. sense of something which is down to earth, which is welcoming, which is more of a, a reflection of day-to-day -day lives in many parts of the world. My name is Parin Kothari. I come from a city, Mumbai, which is a very populated city generally. And I moved to Canada in 2010. Toronto came across as a very welcoming city. It felt more homey, less commercial than the cities that I, I had uh, lived in the US before moving here. My first encounter with the market is when I walked through it over a weekend, it just felt like home. Something that, which cut across classes and uh, welcoming to all kinds of people, diverse in terms of identity. Uh, you could see everybody around here. Uh, it, it felt more egalitarian than other parts of Toronto. My name is Binal Wala and I am a general manager at Livelihood Cafe. I take care of the operations and a bit of a business development part. Yeah. It was probably just two months after I came to Canada and when I was just going around the cafe and just going around the market I felt really like like home I felt that I was accepted more here yeah. name is Mohammed Al Sunidar I have been supplying the coffee to uh, livelihood for about three years it's sourced from Yemen so it, uh, it's a special kind of coffee Everybody that I've met that comes from outside Canada have heard of Kensington Market because of the special character um, that it has, because of the reputation that is a special place we're all coming here. Livelihood Cafe is basically a non-profit organization working for newcomers and refugees to give them Canadian experience. Uh, the cafe has been around now for three and a half years. The idea of Livelihood came about in a little bit of a roundabout way. I was involved in a lot of not-for-profits uh, in developing countries. Then the Syrian crisis happened. I started to think about what can I do. Then I did a survey with two of the refugees who were very who were skilled enough to do market research, and they surveyed over a hundred Syrian uh, refugee households as to what is it that's missing in their overall experience in resettling in Canada. And 100% of them said that uh, they felt very comfortable socially here, but when it came to work, they wanted to work and not depend on the government for uh, welfare. And that's where they were not finding enough support. Cafe or the food business was something that uh, was most ideal for starting something which is employment related and which can help the most vulnerable of the refugee populations grow their skills and become the leaders for helping their communities in the future. I was looking for a job in my uh, depart uh, things what I used to do in Mumbai. I used to work for a travel consultant and I was looking for a job in that field but then it got difficult as they were always asking for Canadian experience and uh, as I was volunteering here I got an opportunity the um, founder parent he gave me an opportunity to you know manage the cafe and get Canadian experience basically.
Uh, I was just passing by and um, uh, I was selling coffee machines and they went in, I asked them what their concept is about and they told me it was fascinating. Actually, I was so excited that they're helping um, refugees that I even gave them the coffee machine for free and I uh, gave them some coffee um, to start with. I told them not to pay me until they, they sell their coffee. When I talked to those guys, I felt uh, there's a connection where I bring the coffee from a, a place that's struggling, that's Yemen, and I understand what they're doing to, by helping refugees. What they're doing was uh, a great thing for the community. So. So Toronto is for everybody. It was actually kind of something related to Toronto versus everybody. And we wanted to spread the message of Toronto is for everybody because that is what the cafe stands for, where people coming from around the world come here, feel like home. And that's how we wanted to spread the message of Toronto is for everybody. <laughs> So Toronto as a city has uh, been growing in the past 10 years non-stop. So there is a lot of uh, demand for just land or property in overall in the city. Kensington Market being so close to the core downtown and the financial district cannot be left out in those property price increases. There has been a steady gentrification towards more higher end, more trendy uh, places, which have less to do with uh, helping the immigrants settle. I have seen so many places which are like really empty since really long time. So yeah, that is one change which I'm seeing. Uh, when we moved into the space, the, we just rented an existing cafe which was running so that we had all the equipment and stuff, but it was only one floor of usable space and the basement was uh, unfinished and so that's not a market considered a marketable space, but we renovated the space uh, and the basement especially to make it a fully marketable space. We put our own money and the money that could have paid for the employment of few more people uh, into renovating this place because we had a long-term perspective for uh, staying in this place. Six months back, we were informed by our landlord that uh, the rent would increase by 42%. We tried to negotiate it down and tried to work with the property manager and the landlord themselves to see if they understand the nature of our business and uh, and can give us a break in uh, helping us continue this, uh, uh, this establishment so that we can continue to provide more employment to, the, uh, to some of the vulnerable people. The landlord and the property management were very focused on what they can get as a market rate out of this property, uh, which unfortunately we couldn't afford. Honestly speaking, I felt really, really sad because I just got an opportunity and I felt that I was just doing good and I was able to prove and, you know, get that kind of confidence and then this happened. So, yeah, I felt really sad about it. They did not warn me about this and they wouldn't warn me. <laughs> so it was a bit of my foolishness, but that's what, it's their business, right? At the end of the day, like it or not. So I come from a business world. So I hate it, but they are not here to do charity also. I definitely see uh, the economic forces and the gentrification from a lens of an economist because I'm myself, I am a trained economist and I work in the corporate world for my full-time living. I think there has to be a, a rebellion for, from outside for the capitalists to realize that they are not the central of the center of the world. Uh, but capitalism having its own set of advantages uh, there is a fight that has to happen from within itself to just cleanse capitalism as a system and make it better and uh, to, to be able to work for others. So this is our feedback box. So there are people who just write some good feedback for us or bad too. <laughs> 
So uh, this one says, um, so good, keep smiling. And then we have a nice thank you. Amazing. And this is one of the best. This is my favorite cafe in Toronto. So sad you are closing. Good luck in future. Enjoy. Thank you. When I started with livelihood, uh, I had no confidence. I was really like scared. I didn't know how things are gonna be, whether I'm gonna be able to survive in Canada or no. But I think with this experience, it uh, gave me a lot of confidence uh, to speak like this in, the, in front of the camera. Wow, that's a big, big uh, achievement for me. And Livelihood Cafe did give me a way forward. So now I'm gonna be studying uh, in Dryson and doing my course on non-profit organization. It has given me a vision and uh, given me a way where I want to go now next. Just having a concentrated place like Kensington Market where you can see, feel, hear that diversity day in and day out, minute in and minute out, we will lose that if the Kensington Market is further gentrified than what it is today. It just loses uh, another aspect of its character, of its past, of its history. There is a basic element about life and about uh, being free. Toronto is special because compared to other cities, it, it has everything that you need within 20 minutes. And that includes a place like Kensington Market. If we lose that, it's not going to be the same. Yeah. It just feels like a big chapter of my life has come to an end. Uh, it's more so the people. Uh, I'm very sad about uh, having to let go of the people. That is the saddest part. Uh, other than that, yeah, I've, it's been a big part of my life for the past uh, four years and uh, sad to see that chapter close.